And the last element we do in this part is landing floor. And again we will not create from scratch but we will use truss geometry. Select poly extrude. And add a null, rename in. Landing floor plate. Add the group node. Rename the group to sides and set the parameter keep by normals. Spread angle 50. And change direction. Copy the group node and change the value to minus 1 and select union with existing. Next delete primitives that are not grouped. Add peak node and move the geometry forward. Distance minus 0 0.025. And add poly extrude node. Distance 1.2. We see that our geometry is not perpendicular. And the problem comes from here at these points. We will solve this in a few simple steps. Add bound. And Boolean. Connect geometry and bound. Lower and upper padding, 0 0.01. And with Boolean we extract the geometry that stands perpendicular. Select, intersect. We create once again a group on the axis X. Add group node. Enter the same values in keep by normals.
and group name, landing floor. Copy and select union with existing and set the value to minus one. Add delete and delete everything that is not in the landing floor group. Add match size. Next align the geometry on the center. Add the peak node, with it we will control the depth of the geometry. Distance, minus 0 0.66. Add poly extrude. Distance, 1. And we mark it in red, because with peak node we will change the landing floor position. And we add another peak, in this way we control the back, and the front. Group, landing floor. Distance, 1.5. If we set the length with peak, the width will be set automatically depending on the width of the steps. Add match size. And in the second input we add the geometry from steps. On axis, X and Y, none. Select, scale to fit. And we leave only, Z scale. Next add poly bevel. Distance, 0 0.013. Add Boolean. Add the geometry from deck base. Before the match size, we add a bound, and enlarge it on the z-axis.
and with the opposite side we solve through the mirror node. Add mirror node. without keeping the original geometry. Select axis Z. And we will transfer the geometry to the opposite side. and combine the geometry with the merge node. and we will delete the bottom geometry that is not visible. Add delete. Select, normal. Spread angle, 19. On axis Y, minus 1. Add a group. Group name, up, and select, keep by normals. Next add poly extrude. Group, up. Inset, 0.018. Make a copy. Inset, 0 0.023. Distance, minus 0 0.01. Return to group node and change spread angle to 10. Next we will create UV. We will use a single UV seam. Select poly bevel. And then edge fillet polygons.
connect to see what else needs to be corrected. It needs to be raised above. Add a transform node and raise it to the desired level. And at the end, we add a network box. Bye.